hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so in this video i'm going to take you through how to download and install the drivers um, for hp um, laserjet m611 enterprise it's actually a network um, printer so i'll take you through how to download the drivers from the hp website and then also to go through the installation with you so stick and stay so first things first we'll open a browser i'm going to use the google chrome and then i'll search for the the printed names um driver which is hp laserjet enterprise m611 series software and driver so it's always good to download from the uh, manufacturer's website so i'll click the hp link and then over over here on the website you can see that i'll close that now you can see that the website has detected my operating system so to choose a different operating system click the choose a different operating system and then under operating system select the arrow down and then go through the list to select or download accordingly for the operating system you want you can download for mac os linux um, windows operating systems and then on the right under versions you can select the version of um, operating system you want to download for under windows mine is windows so i can download for windows 11 windows 10 windows um, xp windows vista windows 7 but um, the website um, automatically detected my operating system so I am good to go so I'll scroll down and then um, beside I'll say no thanks to that I'll scroll down again and then beside the driver name or the printer name on the left um, you can see the version the file size and then the release dates of that particular software or driver I'll click the download button and then the download should begin at the top right hand side of the of the of the browser you can see that it's downloading at this stage it will depend on your 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 internet speed to download the the software or the drivers um, it's uh, only 77.2 megabytes which shouldn't take long for for it to download so when that is done you can then click on the the the, the, the application to start the installation of the drivers or you can click the show in folder to open the folder the downloaded folder double click the setup file and then it will go through the extraction phase where the application or the drivers will be extracted onto your pc and then the installation will begin accept the uac prompts and then um, the next window you will see is this window uh, ju you just need to click the continue button and then on the next window you want to accept the license agreement by selecting the checkbox and then clicking accept on the next window you want to say no thanks click the no thanks button again click the no thanks button uh, to continue and then at this stage the the basic device um, software and drivers will be installed on the pc before the other installations um, continue so just be patient with it wait for it to um, finish and then um, you can then proceed so guys i need to mention that you need administrative rights to install any application at all including printer drivers on your windows 10 pc so make sure to be uh, to have those privileges before you do these um, um, tasks so you can install the printer over a network a wired network or you can um, install using a usb that is by connecting your pc to the printer via usb cable or you can select the third option which is connect later but i'll select the first option which is wired network because my computer or the printer is on a wired network so what the next thing would be that the application or the software will search for the printer over the network if you if your printer is connected over the network you will search for it look for it and then find it over the network in my case it found it 
and then that is the printer name the ip address and then the mac address if the printer doesn't show up you can select my device is not listed and then click next once you click next um, you'll be prompted with this um, option or with this information if it is not enabled you'll be prompted to enable it which is device sharing you need it on your pc you need it enabled for your pc to be able to print to a network um, printer so enable it by clicking the yes and then that should um, continue with the uh, installation so you can see that the network device installation um, phase has kicked in and then it is installing the device on your pc over the um, network your local area network and then when that is done you will then proceed to the next stage of the installation so the next phase will be the hp device setup um, processes which um, basically uh, would be um, asking you some basic information like where you are using the printer it's either in the home or in a business environment i'll select business environment because this printer is a is, is a corporate printer it's it's in a corporate ev corporate environment so i'll select that and then select the first option which is the one to nine um users click next and then just be patient with it um everything is automated so just a few inputs from you to get it done and then the final stage or the final window you will see is this window um, you have some two check boxes there to set as a default printer or to print uh, and then also to print a test page when you click the finish button if you already have a, a different printer as your default printer you want to deselect that um, the first option and then click finish um, to print a test page so when that is done i want to make sure that um, the printer we installed is indeed installed on this pc so i'll s go into the search box search for control panel click on it and then um, from there i will click the hardware and sound and then i'll from the, at, the, at the very top i'll select the devices and printers and then there we can see the printer we just installed on this pc the hp laserjet m610 m611 m612 series um, network uh, printer so that is that for this um, video tutorial so yes guys if this video was helpful kindly subscribe like share this video turn on notifications for all to be the first to watch my videos every time i upload them thank you and then i'll see you in another video bye